when a cuisine is centered around something like rice, which you're kind of understanding by now, I hope, it's, it's the core. And when you start thinking about a cuisine, period, and what that word means, how, do, how are cuisines formed? How do cuisines come together? Like, it doesn't just you know, happen overnight. It doesn't just fall out of the sky. Cuisines form themselves based on life. So sometime around 1685, rice came into the low country. The first planters were Venetian, actually, and the first people working the fields were the Native Americans. And rice just grew like crazy here, like insane. Eventually, um, the West Africans came to work the fields. And when that happened, everything changed because they brought their knowledge of agriculture and growing rice and a way of living sustainably that created our pantry. And what I mean by that is when you're growing rice, you can't just keep planting rice because the rice morals or borders will take over and you're creating a, a, a wonderland for the, the, the insects and diseases. So crop rotation is essential. If you take a look at all the plants that were essential to keep the soil healthy so that the rice would grow, things like all, all, all of this stuff, green peanuts, cow peas, sorghum, corn, wheat, um, all the things that you'll find on the plate, um, if you take a list of those, so if, if, you, if you look at it from an agricultural sense and you, and you say, okay, let's look at the plants that were part of the crop rotations, and then you open up a cookbook, it's the same thing. It's the same plants. That's how the pantry was created. It was essential. It just, it just happened. So if you take all of those plants and you add in uh, the cultural influences of this area, uh, which there are many, but most importantly, the West African connection, uh, because of the Atlantic slave trade, it's it added something that um, you'll taste in the food. And hope in, you know, I tasted it today in, in the uh, in the food that we just ate. It's it's soul, you know. It's like this soul food. Um, so to me, that's really low country cooking. It's 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 taking the things that thrive in this area that grow here with that soulful approach. Um.